This is Henry Frederick of Headline Surfing. We're here tonight on a much better night weather-wise in uh, Oak Hill, Florida, and uh, for an open mic session of our second night of public candidate debates for the 2014 election cycle. And with me here is Steve DeLaRoche, uh, candidate for Circuit Judge 7, Group 20. Correct, correct. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, candidate DeLaRoche, or Steve, what would you prefer? Steve's fine. Okay. I've known you for a number of years. You were a county judge before. Yes. Um, now you're going for a circuit judge. Why, is there a natural progression of going from like a lawyer to county judge to circuit judge? Like some people just go to circuit judge, some people never go to it. Right, well, Florida's judicial system is, is structured like a layer cake. You have the Supreme right. Court at the top, the District Court of Appeals, the circuit, uh, court and then the county court. Both the circuit court and the county court are trial courts. They're just, their jurisdictions are different. County court is um, less serious crimes called misdemeanors and the amounts in controversy under $15,000. And then circuit court encompasses a lot more. Uh, it's felonies, which are serious crimes, uh, family law, which is divorce and adoption. You have civil matters above 15000 you have probate, and you have juvenile crimes and dependency court. So it doesn't really matter whether you start in county court or circuit court. They're both trial division right. courts. It's just that their jurisdictional matters are different. Well, they say that, uh, and I've come in courts for a number of years, my specialty of enjoying has been cops and courts, okay. uh, breaking news and illegal issues. They say that the county court is more of like the people's court, but not like Judge Wapner or Judge Judy, but more of like everyday kinds of things that people get involved in. They're not, they're not really criminal, more or less. Or well, they, they call it examples. Right. Well, they, get, they call it the people's court because in county court you have small claims, which a lot of people are familiar with. If your um, automobile mechanic messes up your engine and you don't feel you should pay your $325 repair bill, you'd go to small claims. If your neighbor's um, dog tears apart your prize rose bush, you would go to small claims. So it's called the People's Court because a lot of times people represent themselves and they don't necessarily have attorneys for minor matters. So, and you always have a constitutional right to represent yourself, but when you get to circuit court and the stakes are much higher, that's generally where you'll find people represented by attorneys. You know, it's funny because when um, this George Zimmerman trial was going on at Sanford, yes. and I was embedded with 250 meteorologists around the world, it was crazy. Judge Alex, I can't remember his last name, just Judge Alex. Right. I mean, how do you distinguish between a real judge and a TV judge? It's kind of like... Well, th that's a good question. It's my, my thought is a lot of these television judges have been um, judges at one stage or another, and because they look good and they have presence, they've left to go to a higher paycheck. Um, honestly, I don't know if there's any requirement except uh, you have to look good in the robe and, and have great hair on television. Now, we'll wrap it up with this, because you know, this is an introductory kind of thing. The difference with county court versus circuit court is a circuit is like a territory that isn't necessarily a county border, right? Right. Well, but the contiguous counties? Well, this, the circuit court, the seven judicial circuit here, is the four counties. huge. Yes, it's Flagler, Volusia, Putnam, and St. John's. And those of you that know your geography, yesterday I was in Palatka and Melrose, which is about as far away as you can still be in the circuit, and then coming down to Oak Hill. It's an area substantially larger than the state of Delaware. Generally, what happens is that each circuit court judge, though, is assigned a seat as close as possible to their home, and that's where you stay. Uh, assignments are changed every couple of years to keep people fresh. It is possible that you could live in, say, Volusia County and be assigned to uh, Putnam County, Palatka, which is what happened to Scott DuPont when he was elected, and Judge Terry LaRue when he was elected. But generally, you stay where you live, if, if at all possible. Um, when you're covering four counties, and it is a vast area, how do you, like, do you plan out, like, okay, this week I'm going to go to Palatka, next week I'm going to go to St. Augustine, and I'm going to hit Deltona, I mean, is there like a method to the madness of the geography? Well, you, you try to, to attend air things where there will be people. Um, last night we had a meet and greet in Palatka that was put on by two of the oldest families in Palatka for me, and that was very nice of them to do. 
Um, and then you, like, you invited me to this, so I, I, I'm here. You know, I certainly didn't think that I'd be going the, the, uh, the longest length of, of the circuit, but I'm grateful that you invited me, and I'm happy to be here. Let me ask you, do judges have to go to those hobnobs? It seems like at a hobnob, it's all politicians and no real people and a couple of media guys. Well, yeah, you, you go to the hobnobs, you, you, you go where something. politics are, unfortunately. Um, we have rules substantially different from this is normal the, this politicians. Is the Canon 7? Yes, yes. We're governed by Canon 7. For instance, I cannot promise anyone here anything except that I will be fair and that I'll work hard. I couldn't promise you that if you ever come before me, this will happen or that will happen. Uh, unlike, you know, the typical politician who will say, I'll make our city better. Um, if you vote for me, I'll approve this water project or we'll get street lights down this one street. But ultimately, though, not to interrupt, to sure. wrap this up, though, that's a good point. Ultimately, a circuit judge could say, uh-uh, this water project isn't happening. It's, well, a, it's an injunction and it needs to be stuff that has to be followed up, right? Yeah, well, the big difference is, some, let's, let's say it's a water project, okay? The local political committee, like a county council, will do that because they think it'll make it better in the community. The judge has the strict standard, is it legal according to the laws of the state of Florida, or is it legal according to federal law? And if it fails the federal or state test, even if the person personally thinks that it's a great idea, they have to say no. Um, you never get a chance to express your personal opinion. You look at the law, you look at the facts, you apply the law to the facts, and you come to your decision. I, I got to end this on a light note. Who's your favorite TV judge? Wapner, Judge Brown, Judge Judy? Do you have any you, you have, No, I don't, and I'll tell you why. My wife loves cop and law and order shows and, and trial things. Oddly enough, she doesn't ever come watch me, but what hap the problem with those are they're made in California. California has a different evidence code than the state of Florida, and I do not want to see something on television that in the heat of the moment of trial say, well, the law is this or the law is that, because in my mind I'll have heard something that would conform to that, so I do not watch them. Besides that, if you are a whatever you do in life, you certainly do not want to go home and watch what you're doing, what you did all day. Um, so I generally tend to watch situation comedies. And of course, California was OJ. Right. Uh, the epitome of justice for all. <laughs> right. Well, th that was one of the longest criminal trials, you know, particularly because of all the attention it received um, since I've been alive. You think you'll ever get an OJ type thing? If well, maybe you, don't want it. Well, if you go to circuit court, there, you know, and you get a murder trial, those tend to be the longest lasting trials. Or sometimes you'll get a, uh, a long civil trial with insurance issues, and those can go for, for well, weeks. I know with Zimmerman, you know, four judges, it's crazy. Right, you know, right. From beginning to end, and a yeah. lot of things happen. Well, um, Steve DeLaRoche, it's fascinating. I'd love to, we'll spend more time. We'll travel the circuit with you and the other candidates. Okay. And make sure you're properly vetted. Um, for Steve DeLaRoche, uh, Circuit 7, Group 20. Right. Right. There, if I could just say one thing, there are four judicial races in Volusia County. Um, one is county-wide, three are circuit-wide. So if you have a favorite person, I may not necessarily be running against that person. So check out not only who you like, but who they're running against and so that you know group, which race. That's why you have the groupings. Right. There's group 18, group 20, and group 26. Well, we don't want to overwhelm them. With well, I understand that. Stupid numbers, but right. Well, for Steve DeLaRoche, a candidate for... Circuit Judge Group 20. Uh, this is Henry Frederick of Headline Surfer, and I thank you for stopping by here. Thank you for having me. Thank you.